To incorporate a business, uh, which is typically done for a uh, personal protection standpoint to protect your personal assets uh, from creditors or from lawsuits against the business. Um, you, typically, this is done through uh, uh, through the state, so you'll have to decide which state you want to incorporate in. Um, for years, everybody used to say, well, you need to incorporate in Delaware. Well, that's you know, that may be if you're a Fortune 500, but for most people, uh, you incorporate in the state that you live in or that you're doing business in primarily. Uh, if you're doing it in more than one state, you choose whichever one of the states you're doing business in as your primary um, state to incorporate in, and then you file as a foreign corporation in the other states typically. But um, suffice it to say, if your majority of your business is done in the state that you live in, that's probably where you're going to file. You've got to decide on a name for the corporation. You've got to check to make sure that name is available. Now, for instance, we're located in Tennessee, and the state has a website that you can go to. You can type in the name that you're looking for, and it'll come up and tell you if that name is available. Um, if it's available, uh, then you obviously can use it and run with it, and most of the time it'll be available when you file if you're if you're moving right along with your filing. You need to look at your uh, what your corporate structure is going to be. You've got to allocate uh, a certain number of shares of stock among the shareholders, define who the shareholders are. You've got to define who your board of directors is. Um, you've got to, typically you've got a, um, you've got to define how the board of directors will function, uh, what they're, you know, how they're going to meet, how they're selected, that sort of thing. The rules for the board of directors typically would be your corporate bylaws. You need to obtain a employer identification number, EIN number, um, so that when you do your filing, that's available. You need to form your board of directors, and you need to check your paperwork to make sure you've gotten everything filled in properly, your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed. Um, if not, it'll, it'll sit there, and they'll kick it back to you, and it'll just delay the whole process. So... Take a good look at uh, everything before you send it in and make sure it's done. In fact, some states you can actually file online. Uh, Tennessee is one of those where you can file your, uh, your application online, so it's, it's pretty easy to do.